Police officers have a really tough job that often requires literally putting their lives on the line. Today, we'll be going through these breathtaking cases where these brave cops put their lives in danger. On June 14th, 2022, a couple of state troopers went over to arrest 24-year-old Brandon Tallman on burglary and assault charges. However, things escalated pretty quickly when Brandon started to resist. However, if that wasn't enough, his mother also involved herself and the troopers were having a tough time controlling the mother and son duo. Just when the troopers thought they had them under control, an even worse problem came up when his father, 52-year-old Wayne Tallman, got behind the wheel of an excavator parked in the driveway and started to threaten the officers with it. Ultimately, the troopers managed to arrest all three of them without sustaining any injuries. Wayne was charged with reckless endangerment and assault on a protected official. If convicted, he can get up to 11 years in prison. Whereas this incident was handled pretty well, the next encounter will leave you speechless. Uh, and that's the end of, yeah, that tank will stop. Oh my god. On May 17, 1995, the San Diego Police Department was alerted about a bizarre event. Someone had stolen an M60A3 tank and was cruising along the road crushing cars in its path. Hey, Able, what we need to do is have officers to the best of their ability and their safety keep these cars away from them. There's cars that are following them and I have no idea why. The man who had stolen the tank was identified as 35-year-old Sean Nelson, and he had stolen it from the local California Army National Guard. Everybody get off the street and go back into your house right now. Everybody go back into your house right now. This situation spread panic across the city, and multiple units were dispatched to find a solution to this problem. Sean, on the other hand, had no plans of stopping anytime soon. Yes. 
ability to control the tank. Up the street, you're in danger. John was spreading terror on the roads, and the tank had been driven for over nine kilometers at this point. Well, fortunately, no person had been injured until now. After minutes of wreaking havoc in the city, Sean finally crashed, giving the officers the opportunity to quickly put an end to this fiasco. The end of, yeah, that tank will stop. Oh my god. Able. Able, he just uh, high centered it on the center divide uh, just north of Genesee. Able, you were, uh, you were cut out. When it made the turn to go across the freeway, the only thing I could think to say, I didn't recall at the time, but when we played the tape back, I said, oh my God, because had he crossed into the opposing traffic, it was rush hour traffic and we would have had a catastrophe. The tank did stop and became partially disabled. However, the madman was still inside as he kept trying to move it. That's when the brave officers stepped in and put an end to this drama. Several officers got onto the tank and forced it open. They asked Sean to get out of the tank. However, he refused and kept on trying to drive away. The officers then shot him and ended up killing him. This matter did raise questions about the military security, but the officers' bravery throughout the incident was commendable. Well, this incident was definitely troubling, but the next encounter will put a smile on your face. If you can flip it, flip it! On March 23rd, 2024, several officers were dispatched to a dispute call at a waste management facility. As the officers arrived on the scene, they saw something bizarre happening in front of their eyes. Okay, it's not like a tractor? Yeah. Okay. Any idea what he's doing? Stop! 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 Hey! Stop! This is the radio. An uh, individual who's driving a four-wheeler tractor is not stopping for me. I have no way of stopping this vehicle. He's gonna go out on the main road. A former employee had stolen a large yellow front loader and kept on driving it around the property and even got on the main road, leading the cops to a wild chase. Seeing this, the officer asked help from another employee of the facility, asking him to get onto a similar loader and stop the individual. Watch your dick, watch your dick, keep ready. I can control him. Grab your machine, what is it, one of those things? How Yo, fast is it? They can get, they can get up probably about 30. Uh, okay, grab that. Quick, quick, quick. Making a left. Keep me updated. I've got the sanitation truck, the large tractor, which is our best bet. It's a little bit slower, but he's behind us as well. Hey, okay, we're in front of Victory World Church on Brook Hollow. I'm going to fuck you with that friend. Um, 
The other employee got behind the loader and managed to force it around a corner. The officers who were waiting for a moment like this quickly went over and arrested him. This is unbelievable. It's wrong, it's wrong. Keep him up! Hey! Flip it! Flip it! If you can flip it, flip it! The suspect was identified to be 38-year-old Eddie Sanchez, who was immediately placed under arrest. He was taken to the police station, where he was charged with criminal trespass, theft by taking, fleeing, or attempting to elude, reckless driving, criminal damage to property second degree, and obstruction of a law enforcement officer. Well, if you are a fan of police chases, you are in for a treat. He's getting back on this tension, going northbound. In April 2016, the city of Doral Police was alerted about a suspect who had stolen a flatbed low truck with a forklift on it. Having such a massive truck out loose on the roads was a big problem, which began a crazy pursuit. <laughs> managed to get right behind the massive truck, but the driver didn't seem to slow down or stop. was moving erratically and swerving across the lanes. It had become a huge problem for the people on the road, and just by then it ended up causing a devastating accident.
this point, multiple units had been dispatched to solve this problem, but the suspect didn't seem to stop as he was going all over the place. <laughs> no clue what the suspect was thinking at this point. There was no way he could beat the cops with a huge vehicle like this. Despite this, he kept on creating even more trouble for himself. the flatbed hit a palm tree, which eventually caused it to stop. The officer quickly got out of his car and tried to put an end to this painful chase. Officers arrested the suspect immediately and he was taken in without any incident. Police didn't reveal the identity or the face of the suspect, nor did they tell the charges he would face. Fortunately, no one was hurt during this crazy chase, and the officers managed to control the situation. We may have seen extremely brave police moments, but none of them come close to this. Police in Brazil came to know about a plane that was about to take off carrying stolen computers, telephones, and printers. The officers who were chasing the plane on their car thought of the most brave yet dangerous way to stop this smuggling. The officers managed to arrest the individuals and later it was also discovered that the same plane was used to smuggle narcotics from Bolivia and Colombia. And it wasn't the last time an officer was involved in a bad accident. Oh in January 2024, police received a call reporting that a skid loader was vandalizing cars at a nearby convenience store. The LPD claims that after that, the driver, who was later identified as Samuel Payro, went to a Home Depot parking lot. Dude's gonna take on the car. Payro crashed the skid loader into the police cruiser as soon as the cops arrived. According to LPD, Payro allegedly caused damage to the exterior of two businesses and many cars during the incident. 
LPD also reported that one officer pulled out a pistol, but he did not fire. He was later charged with second-degree assault on an officer, criminal mischief, and second-degree assault. If you think the previous suspect was eccentric, the next one took things up a notch. SHUT IT OFF NOW! SHUT IT OFF! On January 11th, 2024, after a suspect fled from police in a skid steer loader, a deputy tried to chase him on foot. Alright, driving right, through the back the area. area. Backyard area. Sorry, I'm still on the skid steer. He's just not obeying commands right now. deputy attempted to climb up the vehicle in order to apprehend the suspect. However, the suspect, who was later identified as Zachary Henry, used the machine to pull him off of it. SHUT IT OFF NOW! SHUT IT OFF! Henry is now being charged with assault on a peace officer and resisting arrest. He is currently not in custody, but a warrant for his arrest has been issued. Well, that brings us to the end of this video. Today we got to see some of the craziest police encounters that put their lives in danger. We have to appreciate the level of commitment shown by these brave cops who didn't fear for their lives. As far as the crazy suspects go, gladly all of them were caught and charged for their crimes. These officers surely deserve our respect, as they are the ones keeping our country safe. If you agree with me, please consider showing your support by liking this video, and also make sure to subscribe to stay informed about future cases like these. Also, if you enjoyed this video, check out the next video here.